Hi everyone, David here from DavidDumeAudio.com and in this video, I want to go over the Glitch Machine Sound Design Bundle that is on sale at VSTBuzz.com. So if you haven't checked it out yet, it's actually on sale right now for... Uh, 12 euros. So with for 12 euros, you get four of their plugins, Cataract, Quadrant, Polygon 2.0, and Cryogen. And these are uh, four plugins that, uh, it's actually a really good price. I think normal price are like 50 bucks or something like that or more. And I think this is the lowest I've ever actually seen it. So what I want to do in this video is actually just go over um, each of these and uh, see what kind of sound design we can create with them. So let's get into our project. All right, so the first um, plugin here that we'll look at is Cataract. And this is, uh, they call it, I think, like a multiplex sequencer or something like that. <laughs> some, some weird name, but any, basically what it is, it's a sampler. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in loops. So it's really best for loops, but you can really do quite a lot with this. So um, I'm going to do loops, and then I'm going to do some, some samples and see what kind of sounds you can get into, uh, some sounds you can get out of this. So all right, let's just have a listen. Just putting in loops. This is just the initialized patch and see what we get. So that's pretty cool, um, right off the bat. Um, so the, basically the way it works is you have two samples. You have or two, two kind of engines. You have your left side here with the blue side, which is your uh, engine's one engine, and you have two samples, two samplers. And then you have the green side, again, two samplers up here. And then you can morph between the two, and then you can modulate that morph with the right here and uh, the shape of the morph, et cetera. So you can, and then you can modulate that with you can modulate the modulator with another modulator, so it can get some pretty crazy stuff. And that's kind of, I don't try to do too much down here because to be honest, I don't really know what the heck's going on. I haven't really watched tutorials, but just just with this uh, is enough to get some really cool sounds. And then um, a few other parameters here that you want to check out. So one is uh, down here under both of these engines, you, you have like a question mark with the core FX mo mods, which is modulation, and then all. And this basically randomizes everything. So you can randomize everything from this engine or randomize everything from this engine. And then at the bottom down here, you have another uh, randomizing uh, function here. And then you can set how much randomization you want. Maybe you want something like this, like 40%-ish, and then you can randomize the controls, the, the samplers, or everything. So let's just play around with this and see what kind of sounds you can get. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to route this into a group bus so that I can actually just like uh, print it off uh, right away. Let's record some of this. All right, so that's pretty cool. So I'm going to keep that loop. Let's try something else. So right now it's modulating between the two engines and you can see the colors up here is switching. So if you look, you can see it's switching the colors. That's the modulation. So if you want less, you just bring down the depth here. So that's a cool sound. So I'm going to try to add some plugins on here. So. So I like that sound. It's really kind of screechy and eerie. So let's record that. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so um, this is basically like a quick overview of like the kind of sounds you can get. I'm gonna now, I'm just gonna import some actual samples. So these were loops that I had created, uh, but I'm gonna actually import samples, like one shot samples and see what other kind of sounds we can get. So um, this is gonna be some glitch sounds. So I'm gonna put some glitch sounds in here. And then on the other side, I'm going to put... So I'm going to put some spell sounds on this side. All right, let's have a listen here. Oops. 
All right, so nothing too crazy. You can get a lot of cool like sci-fi sounds and interesting, I don't know, robotic sounds, stuff like that. Uh, nothing I was really interested in getting there, but um, yeah, if, you're, if that's the kind of sounds you want, this thing can really do that. All right, let's move on to the next one here. This is Polygon 2.0, uh, and it's a hybrid sampler. So uh, probably kind of similar to Cataract, uh, but a bit more uh, sampler friendly, I guess. So uh, what I'm gonna do is something similar. I'm gonna just import some, some magic sounds in here. So these are actually four separate samplers. There's not like two sides like there was for uh, the other one. And let's see what kind of sounds we can get. So just importing some magical spell sounds, spell casts. And let's see what we get. All right, so for this, for Polygon 2, you actually have to play a note on your keyboard to get a sound out. So for Cataract, you didn't have to play anything. You just have to press play on your, on your, in your DAW, and then it, it plays out whatever the sequence is. But for Polygon, you actually have to play on your keyboard. So, so you can get some these sounds. Okay, let's try um, a few things here. So uh, usually I just try to, randomize and see what, what what happens. So if I go here in the randomize button, I can go everything, all, and then everything's gonna be randomized here. So let's have a listen. So there's an idea of, of the kind of sounds you can get from uh, Polygon 2.0. So again, I'm not, I, I don't tend to go too much too deep into like the modulation and everything like that and the sequencers because it can get like really crazy. Uh, but it's just the fact that you can randomize everything and randomize, like if, if there's only a certain part of the sound that you want to randomize, like just the sound files, like switch sounds, you can do that. If you want to just do the modulations, switch the modulations, you can see everything's like changing as you go. So... So it's really cool because you can get a lot of cool sounds out of that. And it's really easy to just create some, some glitch sounds, obviously. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's move on to the uh, next one here. All right, so this is Quadrant, and it's a plugin. It's basically a modular uh, multi effects plugin. So if you, um, you can see here you have your left and right. So this is your left speaker, right speaker, and goes to your outputs here. To, so left input to left output, right input to right output. And basically what you do is you can right click on any of these like gray squares at the top here, and then you have all your effects. And then you also have your modulator down here. So um, you can have up to eight slots that you can fill and modulate everything. So let's say I wanted to add something like a, a, a pitcher. Uh, so this is like for pitching your sound. You could do that here, and then you, you'd have to like put your input into there, and then you can modulate it with an LFO, and then assign that LFO to modulate whatever, like F, hash, hashtag F here, this is for the feedback, so this would modulate the feedback, and the P would modulate the pitch, that, and then you have to put the out back out like this. So... So it can get pretty crazy, pretty uh, complex. If you're into like modular, it's pretty powerful because you just have a lot of options here. But um, the way I like to use it is to just, just go through the presets. So there's a ton of presets, which is great uh, for a plugin like this, uh, especially if you're not, if, uh, because this is not exactly the nicest UI. And if, you, if you're not kind of familiar with modular and, and how it works, then what's great is you can just, you know, go through, grow through the presets, which is what I normally do, especially when I'm just trying to work really fast. So I can just go through presets here and create some cool sounds. So let's hear what, what kind of sounds we can get.
All right, so you can get a lot of really cool sci-fi and futuristic sounds. You can also get a lot of cool glitch sounds, which are great for uh, creating cool impacts and stuff like that. So um, yeah, so this, this is uh, Quadrant. All right, and finally, we have our last plugin here, which is Cryogen. And this is, again, it's a buffer uh, effect, a modular buffer effect processor. So you have you know your buffer one and two up here. Yeah, filters one and two, and then crusher one and two. So again, the blue is like number one. It's kind of like the uh, cataract that we had before. So blue is, is your number one engine. Uh, green here is number two. And then you have your LFOs down here. And then of course your, your mixer for each of these. Okay, so um, basically I, I kind of like to use it the same way that I showed before. And it's just by randomizing. So the randomizing for this plugin here is just this uh, question mark here. And you can see it just randomizes all the parameter. What's different about this one is though, it randomizes each parameter, but it doesn't randomize the uh, ass uh, assignment. So if you look at the matrix here you, uh, button, you can assign um, things to different parameters. So if I have like alpha one, I can maybe assign it to uh, up here. So this is your crusher one bit here. So I can assign it to here, let's say. But when I when you press random randomize here, it doesn't change the assignments and the amounts, the depth for each of these. So uh, it only changes the the parameters here. So what I like to do is just kind of go through presets and then click randomize as I go. So let's have a listen to what kind of sounds we can get. All right, so you can get some pretty cool and wild and crazy glitchy sounds with a lot of bass and impact and stuff like that. So really cool plugin for that. All right, and that pretty much covers all of these. And I just want to show one more thing, which is what kind of sounds that you can do with these uh, uh, glitch sound effects. So um, you know, you might be thinking as a sound designer, like, what the heck are you going to create with this? Uh, so let me just show you guys some kind of stuff that you can create with this. All right, so what I've done is I've just loaded a bunch of glitch, uh, what I call soundscapes, which are basically like files that I have like this like that and like this and then I just I like export these out um, into a folder and then I just imported all of them into S layer here and let's just see what kind of sounds we can get just by playing around this so obviously you're going to get some cool glitch sounds So you can get some cool kind of mech, like mech sounds, mechanical sounds. Um, sometimes what I like to do is add some this. Like you can get some really cool um, like impact sounds. So. Let's add some bass to this. So there you have it. I'm not, I'm not going to play too much with this because I could go on for a long time. It's so much fun. And you can get create some really cool uh, mechanical sounds and um, glitchy sounds and like impact sounds, gun sounds, a whole bunch of different kind of stuff. So um, yeah, hopefully uh, you get an idea of, of what you can get with this kind of sound pack and, and what kind of sounds you can create with it. So anyways, I hope you guys like this video um, and found it valuable. Uh, make sure to check the description. I'm going to leave a little sound pack for you guys for free, uh, just like a glitch sound pack uh, that I've created. So uh, check the link in the description for that. And uh, I think that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.